Have you been dealing with premature ejaculation your whole life since you started having sex? If so, this is going to be a liberating video for you. Here I ask Jonathan White, who has a well-known YouTube channel, Sexual Kung Fu. He helps men with their sexual energy and to overcome any sexual imbalances. And here I ask Jonathan the question, how can I overcome lifelong premature ejaculation? I'm Jonathan White, and I'd like to talk about how men can overcome lifelong premature ejaculation. I've worked with many men from around the world to overcome premature ejaculation, and I've come to the conclusion that the primary cause, the summary of premature ejaculation is that it's caused from having a stress-based response to sexual stimulation and arousal. And to overcome it, you want to move into having a relaxation-based response. And a lot of this comes from our masturbation habits, especially from the first few years of our sexual experiences. Our masturbation habits become our sexual habits. Most men's first experiences of masturbation is done very quickly. There's a lot of shame around sexuality in our society and <clears throat> a lot of men are just trying to get their get their orgasm quickly before their mom walks in or something like that while stimulated by porn and things like that so it's a recipe for creating this rushed stress-based quick climb up towards ejaculatory orgasm and when you do this over and over and over it simply becomes your body's normal response to sexual stimulation and there's of course many other causes maybe from a difficult sexual experience embarrassment you had with a partner shame trauma all kinds of things so the good news is that this was a pattern that was created at some point in your life in your sexual experience and it means that you can create a new pattern. And I would say that there's something that kind of sums up this tension response to sex, the stress-based response, which is basically involuntary squeezing of the pelvic floor muscles. Doing a Kegel during sexual stimulation, essentially. You'll know that this is the case because when your penis is being stimulated, your pelvic floor muscles maybe subtly, maybe very obviously contract like you're doing a Kegel, as if you were trying to hold back urine. This contraction response basically creates a pathway in your sympathetic nervous system, your fight or flight system, meaning that sexual stimulation always drives you towards a quick buildup to ejaculation. Basically, overcoming premature ejaculation comes down to building mind and body awareness and being able to move out of a sympathetically dominant fight or flight response to sex and into a calm, relaxed, parasympathetically dominant response to sex. And this requires training. An important thing to understand is that your sexual response is often completely unconscious. You are just doing, going through the motions, doing things the same way you've been doing them. And the most common pattern for men who are premature ejaculators is that they're very much in their heads, overthinking. They're nervous, they're worried about ejaculating too quickly. And the mind and the body are very much connected. So when you're in a straight, when you're in a state of stress and mental tension, it's going to create stress and tension in your bodies. And to just be alive on the planet right now is to experience stress. And so because ejaculation is a function of the sympathetic nervous system, the fight or flight response, when you are primarily functioning in that fight or flight, which many people are, if you live a very stressful life, it makes sense that you would be right on the edge of ejaculating. So first and foremost, it's important that you look at your life and, and just ask yourself, how can I reduce stress? Is there unnecessary stress for my job, from you know, various aspects uh, where I live, etc.? Can I make some changes in my life? And, and also, how can I help my body cope with stress a little bit better? Maybe that's cleaning up your diet, going to some meditation classes, yoga, exercising a bit more, spending more time in nature, having more quiet time. Anything you can do to start releasing stress from your life is going to be very beneficial and will carry over into uh, the bedroom. I think meditation practice is very valuable as well because it's important. This is pre overcoming premature ejaculation comes down to mind body training. Starting with the mind, you have to be able to hold presence in the moment without getting up into your thoughts, M much like a, an athlete performing. They have to be there in their body to do their, their art, their craft. It's the same thing with sex. You must be 
in your body, present with what's happening, noticing what's happening and how you respond to it. Because again, most men are responding unconsciously. They're just tensing up. The breath becomes shallow, further exacerbating the stress response. So basically, you can train yourself to have a different response to sexual stimulation. And this is what it really comes down to. First of all, something else that ex is extremely beneficial that helps to overcome this involuntary contraction, this involuntary kegeling during sex, is to balance the pelvic floor. A lot of men have very, we could say, distorted pelvic floor, very stiff, uh, stuck and tense pelvic floors because of spending a lot of time sitting down, poor masturbation habits, wearing tight clothes, just not a lot of mobility. So this area becomes very stuck and tense. And because of that, you cannot hold very much sexual stimulation and that, that tension further exacerbates the involuntary squeezing of the pelvic floor, driving you towards ejaculation. So doing pelvic floor stretching exercises, really opening up the groin, the thighs, the, the glutes, the abdominals, releasing tension from these areas. And something else that's very helpful, maybe a bit squeamish for some men, is internal pelvic floor release, either through working with a pelvic floor therapist or you can do it on your own with uh, the right tools such as a prostate massage type device uh, or something that's known as a TheraWand, which is basically a tool that you insert up the anus to directly release trigger points in this area. And that can have a profound effect on releasing the tension that's held in that area. Men hold a lot of stress in their pelvic floors. So this helps you to build more awareness of what's happening in this area of your body so you can start to release it. Now, the most important aspect of this is practicing what I would call mindful masturbation. So to create a new sexual habit, basically how you respond to sexual stimulation, you've got to train yourself just like anything else. It's a skill that you must train in. Otherwise, you'll just go back to doing what's familiar for you. It's really like relearning how to walk. So there's some things you want to focus on because the whole thing is how do I get out of my head and bring more presence into what's happening in the here and now? That's more or less what sums up having sexual control requires. The most simple thing is breathing, deep, slow breathing. When you have a stress response, you often tense up the belly, breathe very shallow from up in the chest. You lose your breath because you've lost your mind and your focus. So smooth, deep belly breathing. Make some sound too. Oh, express yourself. Let the energy move. So the breath becomes this container to hold more arousal and more pleasure without ejaculating. That right away gives you something to focus on instead of worrying about, am I going to ejaculate? Breathe deeply. Another thing to practice is releasing tension from the mind and body, especially from the pelvic floor. What you want to do is practice stimulating yourself in a, in a gentle way, not just jackhammering. But think of it as more of a massage and practice keeping your pelvic floor completely relaxed, breathing deeply, breathing deep into your pelvic floor, keeping it relaxed throughout sexual stimulation and building up basically your tolerance of sexual pleasure without stressing up, without tensing up. Another thing very helpful is to practice body awareness because there's a saying in Taoist practice, yi dao, qi dao, where the mind goes, the qi flows. So when you're worried about ejaculating, often you have all this awareness just exclusively held in your penis. Your mind is completely in your penis. And because of that, it's drawing more energy, more nervous system information in that area, building towards ejaculation. So practice feeling the rest of your body. You're breathing, you're moving your awareness. What does your belly feel like? What does your spine feel like? What, is your, what do your arms and legs feel like? By practicing building this whole body awareness, it will help to spread the energy, the, the nervous system information throughout your whole system. So practice self-pleasuring. You're focusing on breathing deeply. You're focusing on releasing tension, relaxing. You're feeling your awareness through your whole body. You're not trying to build up to maximum pleasure and, and ejaculation, but practice slowly building up the arousal scale because when you always go straight to a, a 100 from zero to 100, it becomes your body's response. So when you practice slowing it down, varying your stimulation, get other areas of your body involved, you start to program your body to sustain and slowly climb up on their arousal scale. When things get too hot, pause, breathe deeply, 
relax. So that gives you something to focus on during sex instead of worrying about ejaculating. So practicing by yourself, then that starts to more or less become a new habit. It takes practice, of course, and then you incorporate that into your lovemaking, into sex. And so you're working on bringing more presence bringing relaxation, keeping that deep breathing as a container for your arousal and relaxation. And you start to build a new pathway in your body of parasympathetic relaxation response to sexual stimulation. And with that, you can go as long as you want without veering towards ejaculating. And one last thing I'll share here. For men, it's really about opening up space in the body because a lot of men, especially when you're just very stressed out, the body's locked up with tension. There's not much room for the body to hold pleasure, to hold arousal. Uh, this nervous system information is just, you know, it's like short circuiting in your genitals. So practices such as yoga and Qigong, which I love, are fantastic, are amazing for really opening up your body so that you can hold more information. You can hold more pleasure and arousal without ejaculating. And it's not an overnight process, uh, but when you practice regularly, you'll start to slowly notice, oh, I have a bit more presence. I, I, I'm, I'm lasting a little bit longer. I'm not just right at the edge right away. And over time, you will start to see some amazing results. So have patience, have compassion for yourself, and enjoy the journey.